Good day. Welcome to another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got queued up here for you uh, the game Zaxxon, the Atari port by Sega, I believe. Um, you have very few options here, basically one and two players, and that is about it. A little status display down at the bottom of the screen there. P would be number of ships, enemy planes, EP, top score. I had a quick go at this just to see how it played. And the last score, presumably. Now it is hauling. I, uh, the arcade game is not this fast in terms of the scrolling. Um, anyway, it really moves along. Less detail in the graphics than in the arcade, but um, not bad. Oh, oh no. Fail. So that last wall there, you need to, uh, I guess, know that it's coming or start climbing sooner. Alright, here we come to a space section where you, whoa, why, why, why did it push me down to the bottom? Okay, that's odd. Apparently, you can't control, maybe that was just too complex for them to put in at the time. You'd only, okay, so in the arcade, one of the challenging aspects of this is getting yourself at the same uh, altitude as the enemy planes or spaceships to shoot them. And looks like in this port, it forces you to the bottom. Interesting. So that's a significant difference. Uh, that's a good one. You gotta get, ooh, you gotta get between the energy fence there and the brick wall. Challenging. Challenging. Alright, well let's have another go or two of that here. Some oh, interesting graphics at the bottom there, which would probably not be visible on a television screen, I am thinking. It seems to track your position of your ship. Um, so I do, I do have uh, fond memories of playing this in the arcade, and we get forced to the bottom. Yay! Um, it's a good game. It, it, it's one of the first that was sort of a, an early game that had an isometric 3D perspective and, um, and uh, some challenging things to it, like uh, getting squeezing yourself through the gaps of those energy barriers and whatever. 13, 13 year old me certainly enjoyed this. I don't think I had this for the uh, Atari 8 bits. I had an Atari 600XL which I bought for with my very own money for a tremendous amount of money actually back in that day. Uh, oh my. I think I got a little further that time. Uh, I worked one summer as a farmhand and uh, like three dollars and change an hour and um, all pretty much all of my earnings from that summer went to uh, buying the Atari 600 XL um, which didn't have very much RAM I didn't know that much about it I just knew I wanted an Atari computer because I had an Atari 2600 I think I talked my mom into letting me spend all that money ah here we have the boss and did I get him or did I fail did I get I think maybe I got him um, I talked my mom into letting me spend all my money on the computer because it would help me with my schoolwork. Classic, classic school kid argument. Now, that being said, I did actually use it for uh, work processing in high school. Um, I bought myself a, an Atari 1027 printer had a very unique print mechanism, but it, it was a higher quality print in some ways than the dot matrix printers which were coming at the time. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that sometime. Here I am rambling on about my my childhood as I and my experience with Atari. Well, I guess that is kind of the point of this channel in some ways. Um, oh, what was that? A little glitch there, maybe? The... Uh, Oh, that was weak. I was 
about to say, I feel like I'm getting the hang of the height of these uh, walls, or the energy barriers. There's probably a correlation with how high you are on the, with your height altimeter on the left there. Hoo-wee. All right, should I have another go? It does hum along really quick, too quick, really. It would, be, it would be a little more playable if it was slightly slower. Although, that being said, I feel like I did okay that time, but um, that last game. Pounding away on the keys, as I am. Ooh. Oh, the plane's, the plane sitting on the ground can shoot you. How about that? Don't know if I knew that. thrilled with it uh, at the time it now it's uh, you know it's not bad um, graphics aren't sophisticated not very anyway it plays probably a little too fast but um, not terrible I don't think I have anything more to say about uh, Zaxxon game that starts with the letter Z how about that all right anyway thanks very much for watching Hope to see you next time. Take care of yourselves.